Welcome to Key Tech. Please subscribe this channel if you are interested in today's video. In the field of chip manufacturing, photolithography machines are undoubtedly the most critical equipment, and their technical level directly determines the precision and process of chip manufacturing. Recently, Harbin Institute of Technology has made a major breakthrough in photolithography machine technology. This achievement is like a blockbuster bomb, which has aroused widespread attention and discussion in the global semiconductor industry. Harbin Institute of Technology officially announced that it has successfully mastered the 13.5 nanometer extreme ultraviolet light source. This technology uses a discharge plasma extreme ultraviolet lithography light source to achieve light output by controlling the transition of atoms and ions in the discharge plasma. Unlike the traditional LPP technology of SIMA in the United States and the LENS technology of ASML in the Netherlands, Harbin Institute of Technology's method is to obtain extreme ultraviolet light through particle acceleration radiation. This breakthrough is of great significance to the chip manufacturing industry in China and even the world. From a domestic perspective, China's chip manufacturing has always faced foreign technology blockades in the field of high-end photolithography machines which has seriously restricted the development of the industry. Harbin Institute of Technology's breakthrough in light source technology has brought hope to China's independent research and development of high-end EUV photolithography machines. As a leading company in China's chip manufacturing field, SMIC's development is deeply restricted by photolithography machine technology. At present, SMIC has made significant progress in the field of global chip foundry. In 2024, it successfully surpassed global foundries and UMC and jumped to third place, and the gap with the second Samsung continued to narrow. However, in terms of advanced process technology, SMIC's pace of advancing to more advanced processes has been hindered by the lack of EUV lithography machines. As Wang Guohui, founder of Singapore Bishan Asset Management, said, what SMIC lacks is a domestic EUV lithography machine. Once it has it, the chip war is expected to end, and its size and scale are expected to double. From a global perspective, the global EUV lithography machine market has long been almost monopolized by the Dutch ASML company. This breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology has enabled China to have independent innovation results in high-end lithography machine light source technology, which is expected to break the monopoly of ASML. In the next five years, China's share of the global lithography machine market is expected to rise from almost zero to 10%, which will completely rewrite the global semiconductor industry landscape. In the face of this major technological breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology, the United States, ESML and TSMC have remained silent. Behind ASML's silence, there is anxiety about the challenge to its own technological advantages, as well as doubts about whether China can successfully achieve a breakthrough in the EUV lithography machine. After all, a top-level EUV lithography machine requires not only a top-level light source system, 
but also the coordination of four major parts, including the objective lens system, double work table, and control system. Although Harbin Institute of Technology has made breakthroughs in light source technology, the integration and industrialization capabilities of the whole machine still need to be further overcome, and from technical verification to real mass production, there are still many problems to be solved, such as improving the stability of the light source, system optimization, and commercial adaptation. In addition, in terms of cheap manufacturing technology, TSMC leads the world, and its huge investment in research and development and early layout enable it to maintain its technological advantage. However, ESML is likely to underestimate China's research and development speed and potential. The HEAT team launched a light source prototype as early as 2022, completed the development of the prototype in 2023, passed key tests in the first half of 2024, and mastered seven core technologies of lithography machines in just half a year, with an amazing breakthrough speed. Moreover, Judging from the fact that Kirin 9020 can achieve 7 nanometer technology, China may have made some progress in the objective system and dual work table and control system. Tsai Chengyuan, a doctor of law at Tsinghua University, predicted that he hoped that domestic EUV lithography machines would be born before 2028. By then, SMIC will usher in a decisive battle with TSMC. If domestic EUV lithography machines come out, not only will SMIC have huge development opportunities, but China's entire cheap manufacturing industry will also usher in a stage of rapid development and the cost of cheap manufacturing is expected to be greatly reduced, and its competitiveness in the global chip industry will be significantly improved. The breakthrough of heat in lithography light source technology has injected strong momentum into the development of China's chip manufacturing industry. Although there are still many challenges ahead, this breakthrough undoubtedly gives China confidence and hope. We hope that with the unremitting efforts of many scientific researchers, China will be able to achieve independent research and development and mass production of high-end lithography machines as soon as possible, break the foreign technology monopoly, and occupy a place in the global chip industry.